Hey guys, so the sun's been up maybe about an hour. We got up with the sun. Um, we have been clearing our brush from that tree. You can see where we have a little bit left. Um, and we just got the chickies up for the morning and we're getting ready to finish cutting up um, some of the limbs from the tree so we can finish um, getting stuff moved. We have such a big day today. Um, we're going to be turning the chicken coop um, for because we're doing compost bedding. Um, and our house is coming today. So I am so excited to share this all with you guys. Um, and then we have set, we've been getting some garden plots done. Um, and I might show you those depending on how today goes. And then we're also gonna do the flooring in our house today. Um, and we will, that may be a separate video. I don't know, it depends on how long this all goes. But um, I will do a video over what we are doing for our flooring as well. So, but I can't wait for you guys to see all the new things that are happening. Okay, so here is the inside of the coop. Um, they have a single nesting box, um, just because we, we only have five, we don't need a bunch. Um, so with um, compost bedding, what you do is you leave the bedding in, but every week and a half, two weeks, you go out and turn it. Um, and then we add new bedding on top of it. And at the end of about three months of doing this, what you pull out is straight compost. Um, and you go and put it in your composting bin and then it continues to cook and um, get more nutrients and stuff built into it um, if you let it sit for about another three months. So this just means that we continue building um, our supply of compost and fertilizer. Who is this? Hi little guy. I almost stepped on him. Was he in the creek? No. He was up there by those cinder blocks that we just laid up there. Uh, hi, buddy. Okay, so I am literally just taking a small shovel and we turn it. Um, and, uh, you know, it just, it gets the nasty stuff on the bottom, the clean stuff on the top. The other good thing is that if you do this throughout the year, um, once you get to winter, you can let it go for longer than three months. Um, and this actually, their bedding ends up working as a bio heater for them. Um, but then also, you know, is compost for your garden. So it's pretty, it's pretty amazing how you can have everything that you need. Um, if you just have a little bit of ingenuity and you're willing to do the extra work and extra steps that come with it. So I'm gonna keep turning this and then once we get new bedding, we'll show you how it looks. Okay, everything has been turned and we've added in the extra bedding and spread it out. The nice thing is, is that this makes your bedding go a lot farther. Um, I only used, I used about half a bag of bedding to fill back up. Um, and we actually, we bed down extra, like stuff you don't really have to, like I put some on top of the nesting box, um, just because our chicks really like to, um, they like to roost up high. So, but we are ready for the day and we're gonna get their um, toys and stuff back in here and their food and water. Um, they're outside enjoying the sunshine today and living it up and chasing bugs. Um, so, and now that we have this done, um, one of my biggest chores is off of our list and we can finish getting ready for the house. Okay, so the house is set um, and this is eventually going to be a walkway up to the house and we have raspberry bushes on both sides and then lights that I made and um, they're just Dollar Tree lights. They're not anything fancy. I think each light cost me like $7 to make. 
So, but we're between these two trees for the door. Um, just to give us a little bit of privacy. We have windows. I'm so excited. And best part, guys, I have a lock on my door. Um, so, we'll actually be able to lock the house now when we leave. Um, and then, this is the inside. I'm getting ready to do start working on our floor and we don't have any steps yet so it's a bit of a jump to get up here um if you've been following us for a while though you know that we live in a 10 by 10 space right now um this feels like a mansion like I cannot even explain to you how this feels um we have lofts on both sides so um, and we're gonna just insulate as we go along. Um, what I'm using for the floor, actually, um, we're gonna do contact paper on the floor, and then we're gonna do a water-based polyurethane over it when you do that. And it pretty much turns the contact paper into linoleum. Um, we're gonna have to polyurethane it later, though, because we have some really severe weather um, coming in, and I have been praying that God holds that tent together until we get a building. We have a building and we're gonna get the stuff out of it as fast as we can out of the tent um, and in here um, because we're supposed to have straight line winds and downburst and stuff. So, but I wanted to give you guys a peek inside and um, once I get the floor done, I'll let you see how that looks. Okay guys, so I have a, bit, a little over half of the building done. It's taken about two hours and we are trying to move all of our stuff in here tonight, but I wanted to show you why it was so important for us to um, get this down. Um, we have three dogs, um, and the building that we're in has decking in it. This is raw plywood, so if you look, it is rough, and there are all these places for our dogs to get splinters, um, and there's also staples in the ground and, well, in the floor, and not all of them are flush, and so we're really doing this to protect our puppies. Um, my OCD is kicking in with it um, because I can't seem to get it to line up right no matter what I do, but it's at least a covering and it protects our feet um, and it also um, acts as a liquid barrier for the floor so mud and all of that stuff won't stain and ruin the floor. Um, this won't be what we do permanently, but it's what we're going to live with for now.